All right, what's up, guys? We're out here with Bleeping Jeep. This is Jeremy, and this is Tim from Bleeping Jeep. You guys say what's up? How's it going? Bleeping Jeep 2010. Where are we? 2010, 2018. 2018. What is it? I don't even know. Who knows? The story, we're here at Panama City Beach at Beach Jeep Jam 2018. Come see us, guys. Yo, what's going on guys? We're out here at G Beach Gym. This is one of the first Jeeps that we've seen pulling up. We're just out here getting ready. We're gonna start doing events uh, probably tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. We got RPM Extreme over here with their LS. He's on some uh, X-Comp Gladiator 40s with the KMC machetes. Got some curry going on, lots of rock crawler. You guys can see how far his wheels stick out from the brakes. He got a pretty good bit of stance. Got some rock crawler coilovers. Haven't seen those around too much. Got the long arms going on. As you guys can see that he does use this thing off-road, what it's built for. Looks like we got some custom brackets welded on, some sea gussets, aftermarket ball joints, truss. Rock crawler steering, drag link anti rod. Seeing this in person is really beefy, so it kind of makes me want to upgrade to this. Stock hood latches, I like that. I didn't know rock crawler made uh, inner fenders. That's really cool to see. Think about that for my Jeep as well. guys have seen on Instagram big sauce is now a little sauce right now just for the time being going through some changes still got the tire carrier on plan on doing the fifth tire matching very nice two-door right here got a lot of synergy in moto built moto built inner fenders Coilovers, Fox, bump stops, 37, Cooper STT Pros, some trail readies. I believe this is like a 2017 because of the uh, new LED headlights, the grill, the hood, and all that. And I think he's got the new beefed up 44 in the front as well. Synergy steering, Synergy long arms. Rubicon Recon Edition. I really am liking these Moto Built Rock Sliders. I'm probably thinking about getting those or the JCR ones just because I like how the JCRs have like the little lights right there. You guys better look on these uh, long arms right here, Synergy. I think the uh, color for this Jeep is the Rhino. started to rain on us but that was a jeep i did want to get some footage of it's like a maroon four-door on some pro comp 40s
really like this JKU. Reminds me of my old four door. Still have stock arms. I assume that's around like a four and a half inch lift. Oh. Six speed, supercharged, ATX slabs. My favorite wheel. I think I followed this dude on Instagram actually. Rubicon 44. Those are the JCR rock sliders I was talking about. They got the uh, the lights right there. It's like 37s. Still got the uh, stock arms. We got Ironhide JK on the left, Grappler JK on the right. Groceries. Have to load them up. Just came across this uh, Dragon Edition. Really cool. Never seen one in person before. I've always seen them on the internet. So we pulled up the Chipotle, and some people were checking out the. The monster tires on the Jeep. <laughs> and they came up to me and they were like, I know you got some wheels and tires for that thing. You got some serious suspension going on. That's pretty funny. So he knew Big Sauce wasn't trying to have stock tires. Got that Envil two door. 40 inch trail grips, ATX slabs. Again, one of my favorite wheels. King coilovers, Terrafax speed bumps. It's like sit on the bump stop. Got the Evo inner fenders. White rock lights, looks really sick. Motobill rock sliders as well. I'm torn between those um, and the JCR one just because JCRs have the uh, lights. Really cool seeing a stretch in person like this. So I can see how they've done it. Obviously the longer control arms, everything else relocated, track bar bracket back there. Got that cut out back there. All that cut out for flexing. He does use this thing off-road. This is uh, another reason why I got rid of my hardtop because I was running into some issues like this. So soft top's good for the trails. Really sick two-door though. Something I've never seen before on these uh, truck lights. They've got them lit up red. And those are OEM truck lights. Pretty cool. This is a bad but TJ on some like 43s right here. It's bad on them tons though. Have to check this out during the day. Yeah, I see the pictures of that. This one out in Mojo. He's showing the pictures from 
distance. Didn't want to get out. Yeah, I noticed that. All the comments. Yeah. 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 This is another Jeep I really like that I see on Instagram. I think it's the uh, Commando JK. Very clean, one of my favorite colors. It's very wide on the uh, 40 inch Toyos. It's got the tons under it. Very cool idea for your Instagram handle right there on the steering, that's awesome. Cool looking truss and diff cover. I like how I did the American flag on that to match the paint on the body. I really do like the stance on this and the uh, the cut stock fenders. I like how they did those. I was gonna do mine like that, but I think it's too late because mine are pretty uh, slim. Off-road build, lots of gin right. This thing is high in the sky. I'm holding the uh, camera up to about my head right now. This kind of gives you an idea of how big this thing is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's really cool. It's got the uh, 2007 to 2010 interior with the uh, 2013 and newer seats. Same seats that are in mine. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool conversion there. Got that cage. Color match. Auto trans. I bought one of those in the last show. I don't know who. Somebody, because my limit. It's 42 um, MTR, Goodyear MTR tires are massive. Pretty cool. Billet, aluminum color. Got the Ultimate Dana 60 with the Jeep logo. Very cool.
Here's the new JL on the Motobuilt JL on 40 inch Trepid Maxxis Trepidor tires. Got some race line beadlocks. Got these higher clearance fenders on the Rubicon model. Cool on these JLs, they have like the uh, the different shock setup. It's got like an outboard shock with the three bolts on the top instead of on the JK where they had two bolts going to the top. I don't know how well the uh, electronics and all that do without an inner fender there. Really nice interior. So basically they kept the stock Rubicon high clearance fenders and just took out the inner fenders front and rear. So there's like a second portion on the uh, fender flare right here and then the inner fender. I think that might be the new power steering, the electric steering motor right there. It looks like they just have the uh, two inch, two and a half inch, whatever it is. People are doing these days on the JLs, the coil spacers. Those look like the factory coils and the uh, stock Rubicon axles. Still has the track bar in the factory location. Still looks like they have the stock control arms for now. So here's a Jeep you guys have probably seen on my Instagram or something like that. He's a uh, local guy to us on the 42 inch Goodyear MTR Kevlar tires. He does his own powder coating. His 42s are massive man, I love them. I do love the, uh, the no rear bumper look on the JKs. Rock car cage. Airflex mid arms. I really like this Jeep. I saw this out in public the other day. So we're on these 40 inch Nita mug grapplers, KMC machetes, 17 by 9, I believe. Pretty cool, it's got like a orange camo digital wrap. 
I really like where the rear tire is sitting with these long arms. Really different setup. You can tell he's cut his pinch seams. The frame looks to be painted that silver color as well. I really do love this uh, JL. Got the Genrite tire carrier for the JL already. I love the color match, all white on the hard top and the fenders. Factory fenders will look cool without the, uh, the inner part. They've got the uh, Artec inner fenders as well. These are the new uh, KMC wheels. Looks like he's got some actual springs here, bump stops. Stock steering, stock axle. I think it's the Rubicon. Got the Artec light mounts. Really clean. Also looks like we've got some mid arms here as well. And adjustable. a better view of this white four-door right here 37 Cooper STT Pros pretty cool how they cut the uh, factory fender flares on this one as well was the spider corners got the 12 Trek top D badge for a clean look got the Terraflex mid arms adjustable and what's really cool about this Jeep is that it has a uh, Dana 44 differential the one ton 60 C's and tubes, so it's like a hybrid. So it's like a hybrid 44 and a 60. Also, this TJ is really nice. I think he said they're about to put an LS in it, some like 42 pit bulls, all that. But these are 37s on 15 inch wheels. Yeah, looks like the Rubicon 44 axle. Let's do it. <laughs> 